So I have a question here. Should Krishna conscious women work? Is she equal to her husband? Well, first of all, let's understand the basic principle of Bhagavad Gita. You're not this body, your spirit, soul. So on the soul level, you're equal, right? There's no difference. We're all Prakriti, part and parcel of Purusha, Krishna. Uh, so is there a difference between you and your husband? No. Spiritually, no difference. Can you work? It depends. Uh, if you can still take care of family life and there is harmony for your children and there is uh, a proper balance and it's a need, financially it's a need for you to work and you want to be independent, then definitely go ahead, work, right? But if it is possible uh, that your husband earns enough and there's enough uh, financial stability in the family, then children for a certain age, at least till the age of eight, need parents' attention. And it's wonderful for their development to have access to at least one of the parents uh, at all times. So if that's possible, it's suggested that one does that. Uh, and it's not just a, a woman uh, stays at home and a husband works. It can be opposite also. Uh, a woman can work and a husband can stay home or vice versa or be an entrepreneur and work with your child next to you, right? It's all possible. The point is, whatever is your situation, use it as a vehicle to walk towards Krishna. You have this body, you have family, you have finances, you have intelligence. You have to take care of things, right? You cannot just quit everything and, and go to the Himalayas. That's not what te Krishna teaches us in the Bhagavad Gita. So the important part is, whatever it is, understand the goal. The goal is to serve Krishna. How can you do that I, you know, in the most ideal possible way? Get Vaishnava guidance. It is unique for every unique individual in every unique situation. So get Vaishnava guidance, somebody you trust, either a spiritual master or a mentor. You can also message me. I'll try my best to help out, even though I'm not married, but I can at least give you the principles. And hopefully, by following the principles, you will be able to maintain both your family life as well as your professional ambitions.